Hello, my name is Lucky Man. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. On the last episode, we just created Mo, and that's about it. Um, Nick? What is it? I've got a confession to make. I'm terrible at figuring out magic tricks. M magic tricks? Yep, magic tricks are by their definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks when I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. Of course, they have fucking hiccups. The trick Pearly showed me was incredible. Pearls in a match trick? Hmm, what kind of trick was it? Let's see, it looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb thumb off. Hmm. <laughs> First she put her right thumb next to her left hand. And then it just separ separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? Was it kind of like this? What? Wow, how'd you do that, Nick? You're like, you're like a real magician. See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. <gasps> you take all, you'll take all the fun out of magic if you keep trying to figure it out. <gasps> I don't see any way out of this. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's no way we can solve the mystery of a, of a criminal flying by tomorrow. I was thinking, do you really think the criminal flew through the air? No one who thinks that that is Mo, right? He says that he saw it. That's true. Mo looked awfully serious when he said that. Do you think he might be trying to frame Max? <gasps> if that was it, he would have simply said, I saw Max. That would have been enough. There's no reason why anyone would believe he flew. But what if the criminal really did fly? There's only one person who could do that. Max, you're really not helping my comp confidence here, Maya. Everyone seems to hate Max. Ben, Trillo, Mo, they all have nothing nice to say. That magician does seem rather full of himself, doesn't he? Especially when he says things like customers only go to the circus to see him. He even bit Ben over hit... hit He even hit Ben over the head with a bottle. But, but what? But that doesn't seem enough to frame another person for murder. And it was proven that neither Ben nor Mo li <coughs> lied on the stand. Maybe Ben saw the ringmaster wearing Max's costume? But Mo clearly said that he saw Max himself. <laughs> oh, my sweeties! You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from a local TV st station came by. Since I'm a famed magician, they said, let's make you your very own TV special. Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica. The Great Prison Escape. It would be aired live. Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. 
Well, it would surely be an, an unnecessary addition to your troubles with the law. That's what I was thinking. But the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't give me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. I'd have no choice. It would be a contractual obligation. That's show business. Um, the night of the crime, you didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here's how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is just... This is not just something I can do at will. I don't care what the stoogie clown says. It wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Hmm, you'll have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation ma magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. Shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask you, of you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous, a great joke. Why don't I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But I've won on the world stage. I've won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix. Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But, but, Performers at this circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. That is something that I can simply not tolerate. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. Oh my, my sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest, I've told this story like a hundred times already, so it's a bit boring. We're sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I re I'm really really sick of telling this story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Voila! Here, take a look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Just look at that fabulous stage. That is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time I thought to myself that I could die right then. And I a happy man. I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions, the acclaim. Wow. Ahem. <clears throat> Ahem. By the way, I think everyone who is a performer should get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy, too. Hey, Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earned a trophy, Maya. <clears throat> My sweeties. You can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to all the other members of the circus. Look and learn. That's what you should tell them. Look, learn how to get thrown in jail? Very big circus, circus entrance. You hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. All right, let's do it. Are you ready? Y y yes. Uh, wait. Quit your wine and let's just give this a shot already. All right, let's go. Row, row, row your boat. Row, row, row your bo boat. What are you doing? Gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but Trillo, this just isn't going to work. <laughs> Do you enjoy saying dumb things? You're going to have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you going to do then? <laughs> Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a crash training, a secret crash training course? I'm sorry. Secret crash training. Whoa. Yes, Trillo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try out his idea for a new routine. So we were trying to sing in a round for our new ventriloquism act. Mm. 
in a round? You can really do that? That's incredible. surprised by the idea. I told you. They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once you get a grip of the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. Y y y you think so? Oh, I almost forgot! I wanted to get this back to you. Ah, there it is. Now that I've got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. Um, I know that you're already satisfied in court today. Wanna talk about what we saw, right? Yes? Well, at first we thought it was the old man. Just looking at his walk and how he acted, right, Ben? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. But then we said hello and didn't even get a reply. Not to mention he was draped in those gaudy symbols. What would you have thought if he wasn't wearing those symbols? Hmm, what do you think, Ben? What? Oh, um, I would have thought it was the ringmaster. Hmm, something just isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. That's why I'm waiting for her, even now. Really? That's so sweet. If you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you check out the tent? Ha! You haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Eh? Waiting like this is part of being in love. How so? making my dog do that little head cocking thing. Sorry guys, I got distracted. How so? If you had a clue, you would you would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches for your partner's love, that's one of the best parts. Sorry, had had to go get had to go do how to uh, sneeze <laughs> a lot. That's one of the best parts. Um, y yeah, I knew that. Poor Maya, she's so red. She looks like a vine ri ripe tomato. So 
so how is this new routine working out? We need to just take a chill pill already. Our routines are secrets. We're gonna take the Ventura Cousin world by storm. It'll be a real revolution. That sounds incredible. Make one thing clear. We're not gonna take on the world just because that jerk said we should. That jerk? Max Galactica. Performer should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Trillo, you seem to really be fired up about all this. He needs to realize that he isn't the only one who can conquer the world stage. like that, dude. I'm not gonna hit- I wasn't trying to hit you. I was just trying to get her out of my mouth. You're right, you're right. Mark my words, I, Trillo, Gra Trillo Quest, will win the Grand Prix. You're the man now, doll. Row, 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 your boat will, will be the key to a glorious victory. Uh, not to rain on your parade, but wouldn't it be more, uh, wouldn't a mature, more mature song be best? Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up, you gotta be a part of this too. Canelo, you're in the way. Move. Move. The summer 29th Lodging House Plaza. Oh, it's you two. Look, you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? I'm taking a rest right now, pal. Come here. I've listened to some crazy, some crazy clown's life story. Miss Von Karma told me to come down here and do this for her. Yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listen to that old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like if you're doing something. Um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? Francisca really set you up bad this time, didn't she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal! You're not gonna get me into to backbite one with a whip. No way! W why are you defending her? Prosecutor Von Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you d definitely don't want her to show up, poof, there she is. Don't show up, don't show up, don't show up, don't show up, don't show up! Looks like she's wound him up pretty tight. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it would mean the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who was in that room? Behind the window up there. The acrobats got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma's gonna start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas going up to the acrobat's room. Got it, pal? Ugh, <laughs> Francisca Von Karma. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Where to next? Where else but the big top? December 29th, very big circus, big top. Huh? Where's Regina? I don't know. 
But if she's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm just, um, allergic to wild tigers. Canal, you're in the way again. Lay down, dude. Lay down, lay down, lay down. Ah, right. Welcome to the wonderful, the fabulous, the cafeteria. Yikes, he's in an awfully good mood. Ah, right. You know what time it is. Riddle time. Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Um, come on. You can answer this. It's easy. Buddy, I need you to lay down. You're in the way. All the time, in the goddamn way. I love you, though. Come on, you can answer this. It's easy. Because cafeteria Mexican pot, cafeteria Mexican pizza is possibly a weapon of bowel destruction. Buzz, wrong. Try again. Okay, what do you think, girly? Um, ah, I got it. Okay, what is your answer? Because they were in the cafe, cafeteria. Exactly. It's an incredibly sad place, that cafe. I did it! What's going on? It's being too nice. Today has been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me, I didn't think it was going to be so tough. Tough. Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. such a tough crowd this morning, I had to smash watermelons. Hmm. I told them all a great story and even greater jokes, but no one busted out laughing. You even used the famous no shoes, no shirt, no service joke. Exactly! How can you not laugh at stunning comedy like that? Are you 100% sure about your test vote today? I saw what I saw, I swear. That creep just... flew through the air. It wasn't exactly flying, per se. It was more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a cyclone. He must be telling the truth.
Ah, not this picture. He showed it to you guys too? Huh? You've seen it as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. He really gets around. <laughs> oh yeah. He didn't just show me the picture. What do you mean? He showed me his bus too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous. It's in the picture, I think. And he'd make us worship it every day. He made us bow to his greatness. He's got a big bust. I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. Uh. Max's bust should be on that small table over there. There's nothing over there. Really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. When was it? I'd say about five days ago, all of a sudden, the bust disappeared. It disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max just had to put the picture up. Hmm. I think this thing is really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a bust of me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Is there anything else that's changed about this place? Nope, nothing's changed, nothing that I can see. I wonder if he's actually thinking about this, or if he is setting up a bad joke. God damn it, Canelo, you're in the way again. Lay down. Lay down, dude. Please. Nope, nope, I'm drawing a blank here. The quiet mo is a good mo in my book. Guess there really aren't any other things that have changed, huh? Well, there's one thing that... There's one, there's one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us! Tell us! Well, on the morning of the crime over that bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted front and center. Piece of paper? It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see... But I could see its title. Yikes! It says, to the murderer. m m, -m murderer Yep, that's what it says, but the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. Before the murder? Yes, the ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. Who in the world posted this thing? Nick, I think we'd better follow up on this important lead. I think you're right.
you know what I think about this note? The morning of the murder, it was posted on the wall in the ca cafeteria. I do know all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster and, com and company entered the room. And company. I guess it wasn't really a company, it was just the ringmaster and my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tail coat. Really? Out of curiosity, what in the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't want to steal the, run from my, the fun from my sweeties. Go and find out on your own. I'm sure you can find it else somewhere. You might also want to ask my sweetie pie princess. Max and the ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why do you do that anyway? Was it really that cold or something? Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved into the pocket of the kid's tail coat. You know, I've got a feeling I know what this is. Bet that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Now let's hurry up and check this thing out, Nick. I knew it. It fits perfectly with the other piece. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer, I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. So not at 10 p.m. That's when the murder took place. Now we need to find out who called out the ringmaster. Seriously? Um... December 29th, Lodging House, Plaza. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I'm done with the investigation of the... Well, I am done with the investigation of the acrobat. Finally. But with Miss Von Karma... Nick? What is that? That beeping sound. Hmm. It's Miss Von Karma! Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here. Quick! See ya, pal! I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. Never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl that's still in her teens. Well, let's go inside. It's freezing out here. The wind is biting his... Ow! It's biting his lashes from a whip. Von... Von... Von Karma! She really did appear. <laughs> it was a real battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out and scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day. The day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? <laughs> national news? You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. Miss Von Karma, it appears you got your hands into, onto something big, huh? Ha! I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory with the ten paper bags on your head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A conclusive witness! You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix, right? Yeah, 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 I get it already. You want to beat and destroy me. I can't worry about her. I've got to try to find out more information for myself. Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. My dad. You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. The, 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 the villainous Manfred von Karma. Of course! Your dad! I know you miss him. Enough out of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of whip. 
Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this or any other conversation? Then, then what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see, I have to see him again. I have to see him again, one more time. Him, I'm sure you know to whom I refer. Miles Edgeworth. What? Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? M -m 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 Miles Ed Ed Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know who it was that trained the Gibson Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma. Exactly right. It was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was... Right again? Miles was like a little brother to me. But... But you're... But... But... Well, little brother, but Edgeworth and Nick are the same age. Edgeworth. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. I fought against him in a few cases. But a little after that case was over. He vanished. It's your fault he is gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I... I... Nick, what does she mean? Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case. And then, with the case after that one... He never set foot into court again. And then one day, he just vanished. All he left was a simple note at the prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death. That was one year ago. It was a few months after you left to go back home. Mr. Edgeworth, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive, I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth chooses death? Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as prosecutor. You effectively killed the prosecutor in him. Just like your victory muddied the honorable name Von Karma. I'm gonna find him, and then I'm gonna teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. N Nick, um, about Mr. Edgeworth, Maya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? Nick. Miss Von Karma? What? I don't know if you are God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I've had about enough of you. Him too. Well, what in the world happened? Hm. This dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform you two of today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. I don't know, man. Me and me and Edward have gone a few rounds. Nick. Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. I'm sorry I brought it up, Nick. December 29th, lodging house, third floor, Acro's room. You must be Phoenix Wright. Y yes! Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Mr. Acro. Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of this circus as well? That's right. I mainly performed on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform is in, in is my wheelchair. Akro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. Then one night, they decided to run away from it all, without me. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. Seems like the ring, ringmaster was truly a saint. 
He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. And now, look how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes I think that he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Hmm, I wonder if we spoiled Regina. Regina is so cute. She's truly a princess. Truly a princess? Are you sure that's a good thing? Um... Hmm, do I detect a hint of a grudge against Regina? I'm sorry, uh, the nerves in my legs were badly damaged. And you can't walk now. I can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave this floor, leave this building by myself. That's awful. The accident happened during an acrobatic session, right? Um... Three. Cyclox! It doesn't seem like Akro's injuries were acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well, exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice, so half a year. Six months ago. What in the world went on at this circus then? I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you weren't in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Ah, you went there for rehabilitation? What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced that it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it when I saw what I saw. What you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. What'd you see, Akra? That night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see, the scene of the crime was right below your window. That's when I looked out. That's when I looked out the window. What'd you see? He was flying straight up into the air. K he? Maximilian Galactica. That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying. I am absolutely sure. There's no doubt in my mind. N Nick. Okay. Got a bad feeling about this. Grrr, ah. ah, Nick! Wonderful. Today's special must be Filet of Phoenix. <laughs> I like that. Stay! Stay! Heal! Oh, Maya! Nick! It's you guys! I'm sorry, I guess I made a mistake. A m m mistake Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? It's a pity about what happened to the Ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was! I love my dad so much! <laughs> I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Aww. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad, and he told me that when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A st star? That means that my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. That's kind of sweet. 
but I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? How do you know? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Yeah, you will, I think. I've got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. Just to go back and clear something up, why do you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a me. He's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you. It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got lots of spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. You should? When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, would you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fuck that monkey. <laughs> it's really, it's really important to me. Yeah, fuck that monkey. Leave it all up to us. Guess there's no turning down that request. Fuck that monkey. <laughs> yeah, you're really gonna do it? Fuck that monkey. Let's go get that note. Oh, I gotta present that note first. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Well, wrong thing. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. R really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket? This piece of paper? Was in your pocket. I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Acro's breakfast in the morning. That's what I also take out the trash in his room. Then I go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realize the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep. But since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. And then what? I wonder if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there! How'd you know? Hmm, so it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Um, the morning of the murder, I think. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. Let's go get that fucking, uh, thing back. Fuck that monkey. Oh wait, no, I gotta... I still gotta present one more thing to her. That's Pepper, isn't it? From the cafeteria. Huh? It's from the cafeteria. It's not? I remember seeing it there. So this was the cafeteria's pepper. You know, I'm not a big fan of pepper. Okay, now I can... Go fucking look for money. Fuck that monkey. I hear something. Stop it, Nick. You're scaring me. Nick, it's money. Fuck that monkey. That monkey's holding something. That's it. That's the thing that means a lot to Regina. Remember? All right, time to take on this monkey. Attorney style. This. Yikes. Wow. I tried to have a monkey-to-monkey -monkey talk with with him. I really did. Nick, you... you... I swiped it while Money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it, let me see it. Huh, you can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean, I really want to try on Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I can get some peace of quiet. Hmm, what's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh well, I guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. 
Not to mention, it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Back to the big top. Here you go, Regina. Yay, thank you! You really got it back for me! Yeah, fuck that movie. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. No wonder guys melt some mush in front of this girl. Hey Regina, that costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the lion she told us about? Oh, the one that someone killed. Leon. He was killed, wasn't he? That's right, my dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice. Leon was sitting down and then he opened his mouth. You know? God. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait! You put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. People in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways, that, what was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon bit someone during the pra that practice. R R Regina, everything was alright though, right? No, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... That's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Poor lion, he didn't even do anything wrong. <laughs> Well, now it's time to move on to the cafeteria. <laughs> it's burgers! <laughs> God damn it, Maya. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to the Bistro Dukes. Bistro de Sick, aka the cafeteria. Mm, it smells so good in here, and those burgers look great. She's drooling like she's some sort of crazy burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce. They are absolutely irresistible to anyone with a hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven. I bet. I can tell by this by the smell. Whoa, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. Now that the ringmaster is gone, what are you going to do? That's all I've thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Akro's story, haven't you? Like how he was a dot when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. Akro was so upset that he said he couldn't go on. He, he was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster's shoes. What? Really? That could still be an issue, though. Max. He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. No. All that's left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know? The tragedy. You know? What is he talking about? Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing. Nothing at all. You must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Yes, yes, that's it. You're right, girly. But it just happened. Dang, dang, dang. Correct Mundo. Doesn't he mean ding? No, I mean no disrespect here, but are you lying to us? No, not at all. What makes you think that? Just the way you said, if everyone can get over the tragedy, seemed a bit strange. It sounded like you were talking about something from a long time ago. No, well, I'm right, aren't I? Hmm. 
Hmm, so now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break. All uh, us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, eh? Let's bust these psych locks. Get over it. No, well, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at the circus? Okay, okay, there's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich man myself. Uh... Actually, I've kinda got an idea of what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to be the cause of that accident, would it? about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during a practice, right? How did you... I told him so many times, you shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo. Don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this, too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Mo, is this person you promised you wouldn't say anything? Take that! It must have been Acro, right? How did... How'd you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the ringmaster. No. No way. I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. It's just like you said, you know? The accident. Does someone die? No, but it would have probably been better if he had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive, but when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital, and that's all he's ever going to be able to do. I see. How is he related to Akira? He's his brother. Huh? The person who got bit was Acro's brother. Brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers, Acro and Bat. Cute nicknames, I thought. Anyways, they were an incredible, incredible team, cut down together in their prime. Um, who is Acro's younger brother? Sean Dingling. Everyone always called him Bat. He fell in love with Regina, trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden, Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon! Why do you do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was... smiling. He... you mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. Some sick grin. No way. That's impossible. A smirking lion. A flying murderer. Why is it seen that it's always Mo who catches all these credible, incredible events. Nick, can lions smile? No. We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious, what was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. But all this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shaka shaka. There he goes again, acting like a normal, crazy 